Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. My name is Alex and today I'm going to ask the question, how can you schedule tasks manually in Spring Boot? I've done a previous video on how to use the add scheduled annotation, but one of you asked, how can we actually do this manually? Which is a very good question. So let me show you how. Let's code. So I have a boilerplate Spring Boot project here. Um, you can see nothing fancy in the dependencies, most recent Spring Boot version, only using the Spring Boot starter. And that's about it. So if we go to the application, this is where we're gonna do all the magic. There's one interface that is responsible for scheduling tasks and that is called, as you would expect, the task scheduler. So it doesn't pop up here. So let's try this again with an extended search. I think that's this one. So you can see the task scheduler. That's the interface that we're looking for because that has methods to schedule a runnable and have a trigger. Uh, schedule at fixed rate, uh, schedule at fixed delay should also be in here probably. Where is it? There it is. So these are the equivalents to the add scheduled annotation. And this is what's going on under the hood anyway. So then the question is, how do we get access to this task scheduler? And let's write a quick application here. We just make this uh, command line application essentially. So command line runner. And let's ask for the scheduler. So this is the task scheduler. Let's add a log because we're gonna do a bit of logging today. Private well log. Logger factory for our app class. There we go. Uh, let's see if that works. Log info um, scheduler just to see that we got one and maybe see what's going on. So let's see if we can run this. So. There's an error, application fails to start. And let's see what the error actually is. We are requesting a task scheduler, but there's no bean with that interface available. Um, and the reason is that it has not been configured yet because we need to enable scheduling. Uh, that's correct. Let's import this and let's try this again. So this time it works and we can see we got a scheduler, which is the thread pool task scheduler. So now that we have that, let's have a little bit of fun. So if we now want to schedule a task at a fixed rate, oh, you can see Copilot already understood the assignment. I usually like to have something more expressive. So let's do this scheduler, schedule at fixed rate, um, log info job number one is working. So this should kick off our thread and then we can sleep for time unit um, seconds to millis. So let's wait three seconds on the main thread and then we just invoke cancel because this is the nice thing uh, and it can be interrupted. So schedule at fixed rate gives us a scheduled future. So we keep track of the reference here. So later on, we can just cancel it as well, right? Let's do this and start the application. Okay, we can see the scheduler has scheduled our job, but we can see nothing else happens. And the reason is uh, I made a mistake here because this shouldn't be 1000 seconds, but really just one. So let's try this again. And now it's working. We can see job one is working. It does it for about three seconds. And this is then when the main thread invokes cancel. And that's all there is to it. It looks similar to scheduler, schedule with fixed. So it's not at fixed rate, but with fixed delay. So it looks, it looks pretty much the same. But what's more interesting is how do we actually use cron expressions? Because that's how I schedule jobs using the add scheduled annotation by providing cron expressions. So let's see how we can do the same in code. So there's a trigger um, and there's an implementation of trigger, which is called the cron trigger. And let me do, let me finish this first. So this is a cron expression for every second. And if we go to the cron trigger, we can see it implements trigger and trigger is the interface that is required for the scheduler and that just returns the next execution time. So this is the trigger now. And what we can do is create a second task and do, yeah, exactly this. So I have the first job that is working, then we cancel it, then there's a second and let's do the same thing again. We just wait for another three seconds and we then say to cancel. Okay, you can see the compiler complains here because it says two can be nullable, which is a little bit weird because how is it that scheduled at fixed rate gives us a scheduled future, but 
schedule with a trigger returns a potential. We can see it above here. Let's go in there. It says nullable. So why can that be nullable? And the reason is that the trigger may never may never fire actually. So if you mess up the cron expression, uh, it might happen that this never fires. Um, so there may not be a scheduled future. So we have to make this a safe call. So I'm canceling this um, second execution. Let's see if that works. So the first job is working again, then it gets canceled. Um, and then a second job is working and it also gets canceled at some point. So we can see this works nice. So this is how you can schedule at fixed rate with delay and with a cron expression. So this is usually the equivalent to using the annotation. If you have access to the task scheduler, you can just run jobs as you would otherwise with the annotations. So if you have further questions, please just keep them coming. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.